Hello, CPS students and teachers. Welcome to our second Engineering Design Challenge of 2022. My name is Andre Westhill. I'm with the Department of STEM. And our February challenge this month is paper skyscrapers. Uh, so hopefully by now you've talked with your teachers um, about what skyscrapers are, how they're built, some of the design features, and you are ready to begin being the engineers and the designers and the architects of your skyscrapers. So let's introduce the challenge. All right, so February's engineering and design challenge is to create the tallest skyscraper you can out of the materials that are provided for you. The skyscraper should also be able to stand on its own on the table surface. You can use the following materials. You can use paper, you can use scissors, and you can use one roll of tape and that's it, okay? Now, you all will have the opportunity to use eight sheets of paper to create the tallest structure. My tower right here, I utilized four sheets of paper, and it measures 34 inches in height. That tells me that you all should be able to beat me in the height of my tower. I wanna to see what you all got. While you guys are building, I want you to keep the engineering design cycle in mind. Let's review that real quick. The engineering and design process is really all about trial and error. In anything that you do in life, including in this design challenge, you're gonna come across some challenges, some obstacles. And what the engineering design process does is it kind of forces you to reflect on what's going on, what is the issue, what's preventing this design from being better, fixing that design, testing it again, and seeing if it works. And if it doesn't work, continuing to do that process until you get a product, until you get a final design, in this case, a final skyscraper structure that you are happy with. Along with that engineering design cycle, remember, teamwork is really important when you all are partnering up and building something together. So using those communication skills and collaborating with each other, okay? Second thing, Let's make sure we have some fun during this project. I'm excited to see what you all come up with. Good luck. Teachers and students, if you liked and enjoyed this engineering design challenge, or you felt like it could have been more challenging or maybe less challenging, there are other options. You can do some extensions for this or some modifications. Think about instead of using eight sheets of paper, what could you do with one or two sheets of paper? Or what would you do with 30? How massive would that get? I've seen students do it with so many sheets of paper, you have to have a really strong foundation and they get pretty tall, okay? For high school, I've seen some high schoolers uh, projects do where they have to actually, the tower has to hold a specific weight, like a can of soup, okay? So these are all modifications you can create, you can uh, add in to make the project more interesting, all right? I'm excited to see what you all come up with. 